शृणुयाम देवा भद्रम पश्येमाक्षभेजत्रा स्थिरंग स्तुष्टुवागम सस्तनु व्यशेम देवित यदायु ओ शाति 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 Let us now pray together. We offer our salutations to the all-loving being who endows all beings with consciousness. We meditate on the Lord, who is the origin of the universe. Lord, Thou abidest in all. Thou art all. Thou assumest all forms. Thou art the origin and goal of all. Thou art the self of all. Thou art existence, knowledge and bliss. Salutations unto Thee. May the world be peaceful. May the wicked become gentle. May all creatures think of mutual welfare. May their minds be occupied with what is spiritual and abiding. May our hearts be immersed in selfless love for the Lord. Peace, peace, peace be unto all. Let us feel the innermost center of our being. Let us think of it as a steadily burning candle flame. Let us feel that light is pervading all over my personality. My heart is made of that light all my limbs are also made of that light just as in a wax statue, everything is made of wax. The face of the statue, the hands, legs, abdomen, all is wax. So let me feel I am the light of consciousness. As I see this, my world also undergoes the transformation. 
it also becomes the same one light. All the distinctions are dissolved. In this all-pervading ocean of luminosity, all different shapes all different big and small things are seen as rising and falling waves on this ocean of luminosity. I am the existence absolute. The bliss absolute. the peace absolute om peace 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 om brahma me tumam मधु में तुमाम ब्रह्ममेव मधु में तुमाम ब्रह्ममेधया मधु में धया ब्रह्ममेव मधु में धया ओम शांति शांति Shanti May the all-pervading Brahman be realized by us. May the true bliss be realized by us. May the all-pervading existence, the Brahman, who is also the true bliss, be realized by us. May we realize Brahman with our purified understanding. May we realize the highest bliss by purification of our understanding. May we realize the Brahman who is also the highest bliss with our purified understanding. Om peace, peace, peace. Dear friends, as such, the topic that we are discussing today, you may wonder uh, what is there to discuss about? Uh, is there anybody who disagrees uh, that we should think and act? Um, it is uh, a g something given, you know, that they, we should think and act. So what is there to discuss this topic? Yes, we all agree we should think 
and act. Uh, it is, uh, there is, should be no debate about it. Nobody says that we should act and then think. Mm, we should think and act. Then why are we discussing it? The problem is, uh, very often it is not the case. And the results are disastrous. It is, if we act and then think, uh, the meaning of both gets lost. Uh, like when you put the cart before the horse, uh, then the cart is useless, the horse is also useless. So whenever actions uh, go, you know, before uh, our thought, then it cannot be also called thought. Thought uh, that goes, uh, runs after the actions. Uh, it is usually, uh, it is repentance. Why I did like that? So it is, so therefore we have to find out that uh, this problem is there. I don't know, I cannot speak about uh, everybody, but at least I feel I have this problem. Many times I act uh, without thinking. And uh, that is not right. So we should see, I think there should be, there will be many like me uh, that who also many times act before they think. Uh, it is the, this particular phenomena has given rise to many uh, disorders. Uh, it is uh, the, uh, that psychological mental disorders have uh, been the result of this uh, wrong connection between thought and action. That is the action uh, goes before the thought goes. Uh, and so there is a lot of uh, thought, let me put that word, thought uh, given by the psychologist, modern psychologist to this. But uh, usually their thought is limited to uh, when it comes to pathology. When it becomes a very uh, difficult situation for that person to live in society uh, because of this behavior or becomes very troubled person. So there are so many uh, problems uh, that come to a person because of this. But even for our spiritual life, we may not be a, a mental case to be shown to a doctor, but in spiritual perspective, in higher perspective, uh, we all are patients, that we all have this problem, that our thoughts, uh, they, uh, you many times follow uh, the action, and th that is why we have to see that how as spiritual seekers, as the seeker of the highest truth, mm, what we should do. Uh, one can see that our actions are not always uh, preceded by a concentrated, decisive thought. Uh, when, for example, we are just uh, sitting, just sitting, can we just sit and do nothing? It's not as easy as it appears. You will see the movement of different limbs uh, fidgeting about uh, or uh, uh, doing all actions which do not have any meaning. There is no thought behind that, but we, if we observe that even while sitting, 
uh, our fingers they keep on making sub movements for no reason it is not that there is any particular reason that uh, uh, you are doing that uh, it is uh, uh, for no reason you uh, rub your nose uh, some e many years ago we had a very nice uh, speaker here uh, uh, she gave a very nice uh, this uh, talk but uh, in uh, later on so many people heard, observed that why uh, she was uh, every minute so to say she was uh, trying to you know move her hand on the hair trying to make the hair uh, be in the place not that they were out of place probably the movement of the hand was making that uh, it, they go out of place but it is uh, the habit that uh, it is not that the, some thought is making you do it now these are the common things that we do uh, without a thought behind it what happens is that one may consider that oh these are minor things they are minor but the minor gave rise to something major the problem is that we have not trained our body uh, to follow the thinking process it keeps on acting on its own uh, without uh, guided by the thought and this therefore becomes in the spiritual path in our regular normal social life family life nobody will notice it uh, but when you come to meditation if you want to lead a spiritual life and so for that purpose you want to meditate one common question one co very common problem uh, is perceived swami that the mind does not uh, stay in one place it is uh, it keeps on moving about why does the mind not remain in one place even when i try to do one answer is uh, related to our topic today it is does your body remain in one place does you want to keep your body steady does it remain steady forget the mind it is a deeper aspect but even something that you can see as an object body can you keep it steady in one place uh, without any making any movement in fact that is a uh, uh, first lesson in uh, learning meditation that keep your body straight mm. don't make any movement uh, keep the breathing also very gentle let eyes not look here and there uh, keep it all focused sometimes they say just focus the eyes on the tip of the nose in bhagavad gita it has been advised so just hold the body like that even for mm, a lot of people majority i would say that is also not easy it is not that their body has some problem uh it is they are perfectly healthy otherwise but the body and that your decision to remain still is not being obeyed by the body the body has its own habits and they are taking over and thus one finds it difficult to meditate imagine you know that if i am not able to keep the body that i see that i can 
think I, I think that I have some control over it. Uh, I can take the body from one place to another place. Same cannot be said about mind so easily. Keep the mind on God. Uh, where it is, you know, how to keep it. <laughs> Just think of these questions. Uh, how to keep, I can uh, think, you know, that let me uh, pick up this folder and keep it here or keep it like this. Uh, I can do it uh, because that is an object that I can see and uh, can handle. Uh, how to handle mind like that is uh, very difficult. What I mean is that uh, therefore this simple discipline is given that keep your body uh, without any movement, uh, try to hold it. Mm, a primary uh, this uh, instruction in meditation, hold the body still. Mm. Do not let it move. Move your body only if there is uh, a purpose dictated by the thinking. Mm. If there is a purpose, uh, that then you can move yourself. Let it be preceded by thought. It is so difficult I have noticed many times in the guided meditation that uh, after five, seven minutes, uh, one starts hearing people. <coughs> <coughs> Actually, there is no problem like cough or anything in that person. Uh, what problem is that they, there is no habit of remaining still and steady. So you get cough so that you get an excuse to move your limbs. It is uh, many uh, suddenly feel that, oh, I should go to restroom. Uh, there is no uh, need for that at that time, but uh, it is so difficult to sit in one place mm, without making movements. It is very important to st uh, start that, so that at least we will be able to control the body, mm, control our external actions. We are not able to do because we do not practice this. And when it becomes a pathology, uh, then the therapist and they give some remedies which temporarily work. But uh, this habit needs to be inculcated. Uh, it is because it is problem, one aspect of this thoughtless action is uh, the habits get formed. Uh, there are two different uh, ways in which the uh, thoughtless actions happen. I mean the action not uh, propelled by the thought behind uh, or guided by the thought behind. Uh, one is characterized by uh, the psychology as impulsive nature, impulsivity. So we uh, have that impulsive aspect of our personality. And then there is another thing called compulsivity. Uh, there is the compulsions. Uh, actually, the result in both cases is that uh, the m movements, the actions, they are not preceded by a decisive thought. They just happen without uh, your wanting to do it consciously. It is, uh, but the two things are, are different in nature. Uh, the impulsive 
नेचर इज दे आवर बॉडी काइंड ऑफ स्पीड्स अप एंड दे इट ओवरटेक्स आवर थॉट दैट इज द इम्पल्सिव नेचर दैट वन सीज इन एनिमल्स एंड ह्यूमन बींग्स ऑल्सो आर फॉर मोस्ट पार्ट इन आवर बिहेवियर्स आर दे आर लाइक एनिमल्स वी आर लाइक एनिमल्स इन फैक्ट वेन इफ वी आर नॉट डायरेक्टिंग अवर अटेंशन टू स्पिरिचुअल प्रोग्रेस वी आर एनिमल्स विथ लॉट ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस गिवन टू अस फॉर but uh, for the purpose of aggrandizement of body that is how it gets used so uh, the behavior still remains impulsive uh, the person may be very highly intelligent but the animal aspect of it is impulsive therefore in animals you don't expect uh, this idea that thinking uh, should proceed the action and uh, you can't say that to uh, a dog hey uh, meditate think and then act uh, no it is not yeah sometimes uh, they the owners of dog become proud oh my dog also sits in meditation with me that is not because the owner is sitting it is a follower of that so the dog also sits not that there is a thought process behind it mm, it is uh, so uh, um, therefore you know uh, one dog trainer i know he used to have a nice dog show so uh, and he used to give dog shows and show uh, look the, the dog has been trained to count uh, it is so uh he used to ask the audience what do you want this dog to count uh, up to 10 you know after all it is dog you cannot expect the dog to count uh, to go beyond that so uh just uh, uh, you can suggest uh, like 2 plus 3 uh the dog can do that counting you know it can add Uh, so if somebody says that okay uh, what is 3 uh, plus 4 and then the dog there were all these uh, uh, the numbers on some plates were written and kept uh, big signs so the dog would 3 uh, plus 4 would just pick up the plate 7 and show and the people would applaud hey wow uh, and then some inquisitive person asked the trainer how could you teach the dog counting how does the dog know counting the trainer said the dog doesn't know how to count uh, the the person who is conducting the show should know how to count <laughs> and then uh, has to make a sign imperceptible to the uh, audience mm, and then he, that that he would just while moving stand near the number 7 so they that would give the cue to the dog hey here so mm, the point is that the animals they do not have the counting uh, facility and counting all our brain functions depend on counting it is uh, therefore uh, the computers can imitate that because it is given to computation our thinking process is basically a, a process of uh, computing so it is the uh, animals cannot do it the and because our animal nature we do not try to curb uh, there is no conscious effort to put a control on our animal 
nature we uh, see that that impulsive behavior comes there then there is the compulsive behavior compulsive behavior is because we get addicted to things the habit gets formed and then uh, not only when we are not told by the thought process to do a particular action not only that even our thought is telling us not to do it still uh, because of this habit addiction the compulsive nature takes over and one commits the action uh, it is seen like uh, uh, whatever addictions we have simple addiction which uh, uh, are not paid much attention uh, because they do not create uh, any social disturbance and so forth so uh, like having a cup of coffee simple you know uh, but it is an addiction that one gets addicted to it uh, and so if there is no coffee uh, the person starts looking here there where there is an availability of coffee mm, it is i told you that uh, without that many people uh, cannot actually uh, start their morning uh, they become are so confused uh, because there is no cup of coffee it is so first let some coffee come i have got a very nice cup you know uh, a coffee cup uh, that is actually for travel purposes uh, and then there is a very nice statement written on it actually it is part of a song Uh, a little bit changed you know there is a song that many of you must have heard beginning with uh, the morning is broken now there is a little pun on this word broken there that it is morning is broken means come on it is light and all that uh, that is how the song proceeds uh, in its proper form but this is a little a parody of it so it says uh, broken means something that has now broken gone bad you know uh, it is uh, uh, like uh, uh, a glass is broken uh, doesn't mean that now it has started shining more it means it has become now uh, <laughs> not whole but pieces so it is uh, that uh, saying there says morning is broken coffee can fix it so it is you take a cup of coffee and then uh, uh, now uh, the faculties seem to get connected uh, the body and the mind they seem to form a connection uh, coffee becomes sort of a glue so what i mean is that is now a habit formation so uh one drinks coffee and this uh, uh, is extended to many things that without it you cannot function and there is uh, no thought involved many times in that that you have to have it so you must have it uh, that when it becomes a cause of Uh, other problems you want to stop it like alcohol for example uh, it becomes uh, uh, hazardous for one's own uh, living for the uh, society and all that that we live in it becomes a big problem so therefore uh, when it comes to that then we want to control it Uh, but the seed is there that you one gets habituated and because of the habit now the thought process not only is required for it but the thought process cannot control it also and even if it is told that no you should not take coffee the person becomes uh, really upset why should i not have coffee it is i know one old man uh, and 
So he was told because of some uh, kidney and other issues that well you are not uh, you should not take uh, coffee or such drinks. Mm, it is your liquid intake has to be limited. Now he had fallen in the rut of taking lot of coffee. Uh, when I go to uh, the universities, uh, say, uh, like say Brown University, the first thing I noticed after coming to America, uh, how much you know that I could not judge that how much fragrance of education is there, uh, but the fragrance of coffee is everywhere. Uh, just a lot of uh, smell of coffee. So it is because that is considered and necessary by many because of the habit. And then uh, without that uh, you cannot function. Moreover, then you get into the habit of taking more and more of it. It is, and that becomes then a pathology because it has its own effects. So uh, that is called the compulsion. One is impulsive nature, other is compulsive nature. And because of these two, uh, one cannot actually uh, go by the uh, thought that then precedes the action. Thought preceding the action, action moves only according to the thought. Thought directs, then the action moves. Without that, the action does not move. Uh, it is, of course, uh, there is this uh, impulsive uh, actions are necessary at times when there is no time for thinking and acting. There are situations in life like that when there is no time to think and you should immediately act. So, uh, that also is a matter of practice and training. That in such situations, uh, you do it automatically. Don't give it a thought uh, that, okay, I will do this first, I will think about it. No, uh, like if there is a fire alarm, uh, that there is a big fire, then now do not, okay, let me think and then no, just go out, uh -huh. just go out, run out from here. Uh, so uh, that needs to be uh, cultivated that in some cases uh, you have to act like that. Uh, the animals, for example, they have to live in forest and the tribal people, they, those who live in forest area, therefore they develop uh, this kind of instinctive, impulsive behavior uh, where the thought is not prominent feature uh, because suppose they uh, see a bear ready to attack. Now there is no time to think, you know, the bear is not going to give you uh, a time to think and then act. So you have to develop that. But that is, these are the exceptional aspects of our being. This should not become a habit that always, therefore, I will act. Uh, it is uh, according to my uh, impulses or uh, instincts. No, let the thought proceed, especially when we are working to uh, get the goal of life uh, that is very human. Human goal of life is as Sri Ramakrishna repeatedly told that the goal of human life is realizing God, uh, the Satchidananda, the existence, consciousness, bliss, that is the goal of life. And therefore, uh, we need to develop the human aspect uh, for that realization of the human goal, uh, human aspects, the human qualities have to be uh, developed, encouraged, mm, strengthened. So, uh, therefore, this habit, thinking and acting, 
uh, it is to be practiced. With practice, one can do it. That is why the practice of meditation means uh, that, okay, for some time I will not let my any of my limb move. Uh, just practice, you know. When one starts practicing, we realize that how difficult it is. And then to keep the mind in place is far more difficult. But let us begin at the beginning. That, okay, let us hold the body uh, in one place. Let us not uh, breathe uh, without the need of breathing. Mm, breathing is an unconsciously happening process. Automatically uh, it is being carried. But that also can be brought under the gambit of thought. That in the ambit of thought you can bring this uh, breathing also. And that is what uh, people of uh, meditative uh, awareness do. That the breathing also is done as per need. Mm, it is not always the breathing. In physiologically and uh, all that, that happens according to the, the need automatically. Uh, but there is uh, that, in that, the meditative aspect is never taken into consideration. Uh, means if you are, say, running, more oxygen is needed, and so the breathing happens rapidly, uh, that is one thing. But uh, uh, when you are meditating, now uh, meditate uh, with regular breathing. Just take in the uh, air, that is uh, uh, one way you can understand uh, the rudimentary process of pranayama, that breathe uh, regularly, means with regularity, that okay, uh, in one minute I will breathe in and breathe out just once. Mm, it is all throughout this time of meditation. Uh, it becomes, it helps the mind to concentrate. You can try. Swami Vivekananda mentions that, look, uh, if you uh, just uh, see that you are uh, the medita in meditation, the uh, breathing is happening, you are taking in the air, and then you are exhaling, throwing it out. Uh, when you are conscious of this, and no bad thought will come to your mind, because that sometimes is a problem that will, in spite of myself, uh, so many uh, not so good thoughts, they cross the mind. Mm. So, Swamiji says that, look, uh, if you do this kind of breathing, you will notice that no bad thought comes. Conscious breathing. Mm. Be conscious that you are breathing. And thus, this is as, as it is a science, anybody can verify it. But uh, what happens is immediately that idea gets lost in one or two minutes that uh, I get identified with body. Rather than the controller of the breath, I, I join that uh, the process as uh, uh, not a controlling uh, authority, but uh, let it perform I, as it wants without any control. I am not conscious of it. Uh, so, to learn conscious breathing, it is a, a habit that needs to be formed. Uh, we, one may ask the question that uh, you were saying that uh, we should uh, uh, conquer the habits uh, so that, you know, the, uh, because of the habits uh, we will not be compelled to behave. Uh, well, that is about the undesirable habits. To conquer those, we have to uh, develop the desirable habits which will be able to overpower these wrong habits. 
uh, my uh, the 10th president of our order Swami Vireshwara Ananji uh, who blessed me with initiation uh, so he uh, told that uh, how this happens he said that uh, uh, you buy you want to you know uh, put the uh, metal foil on uh, say some doors so that they w won't get wet now uh, the the metal sheet when you buy it from the hardware store uh, it is rolled it comes as a roll mm -hmm. so maybe many of you might have bought it uh, it comes as a roll so then to actually nail it to a surface you have to make it flat mm, then you will be able to nail it there but as you flatten it it again rolls it is uh, so what is to be done the solution is that now roll it reverse mm. roll it reverse and then keep it under some weight for some time and then after you open it now it is straight uh, so that is how the undesirable habits uh, have to be uh, rolled in a counter way so that and for that one has to develop the good habits good means uh, where by these uh, other habits will get under control so this is a primary need so therefore to develop these habits uh, is necessary that okay let me train myself to think and act oh i cannot do it uh, that also is a wrong habit that one has developed a negative attitude no i cannot do it how does one conclude that i cannot do it the factual statement should be i have not been able to do it does it automatically mean that i will not be able to do it that is a false statement that what it means is that uh, then the baby will never be able to walk at all even uh, becomes 20 years old uh, because no i was i am not able to walk you were not able to walk but then as you grow uh, the baby starts practicing you see mm. so uh, falls a few times uh, but uh, doesn't give up so uh, therefore it is you can see there is the development of this uh, habit of thinking and then acting uh, is possible it is uh, we should try to do that consciously that it is not just matter uh, of this lecture today but it should be uh, in pervading the life i quote here this actually the topic i uh, got the idea from uh, swami atmajnanananda ji had given a retreat here recently and during his talk he quoted uh, an incident that happened in the early monastic days of swami swahananda swami swahananda ji was at that time uh looking after a student's home uh in uh near belurmat vidya mandir there is an org that uh, educational institution vidya mandir he was uh looking after the student's home there and at that time the president of the order was swami shankarananda so one day he went to shankarananda and then he asked shankarananda ji that uh, can you tell me something uh, uh, that i should tell the students to make their life good and then shankaranand ji told let me quote from uh, it is uh, shankaranand ji told 
try to teach them to think carefully and thoughtfully before performing each and every action. And this is a matter of habit. Uh, so when we speak, uh, let us think and speak. Uh, one of the these uh, signs of uh, uh, the addictive habit is that compulsive habit that is a product of uh, addictions is uh, the person has is addicted to talking. There is no need. Uh, we uh, swamis who give lectures they fall in that habit many times. When there is no need to talk, they keep on talking. Mm, it is so. Uh, one has to be very careful that uh, put some value t on your words. You know, it is. Uh, do not uh, just throw them out. It is important that think and talk. Mm, that is the uh, process that should be followed. Uh, even if we just follow that, let me think and then accordingly release my words. Uh, that is uh, uh, a great thing that one can achieve in life. That uh, think and then talk. Mm, it is think and perform any action. Uh, it is uh, a uh, lot of words are wasted or create a lot of confusion and harm uh, because these words are uh, spoken uh, without thinking. Uh, I have uh, the occasion to refer to this wonderful book uh, which has helped me and many others like me uh, on this path of uh, developing one's spiritual life. Uh, it uh, has this uh, particular chapter here, uh, integration of personality. Uh, and uh, we have different aspects of our personality. And then it is that uh, <coughs> he, I'm quoting here, the integration has its physical aspect, its mental aspect, and also its spiritual aspect. Integration of our faculties like thinking, uh, then feeling, and willing, they need to be properly integrated. Uh, and that leads to the spiritual illumination. One may th see that, oh, only that is a, seems to be simple. Yes, it is simple if we uh, practice it. Otherwise, it is very difficult. Uh, in Kathopanishad, that beautiful uh, metaphor is given about a chariot. That, suppose uh, we are like spiritual aspirants, are on the journey to a spiritual goal. Uh, the spiritual goal, the ultimate destination is uh, becoming or realizing our oneness with the universal spirit or God or the all-pervading consciousness. Our center of individual consciousness should expand as we were doing the meditation at the beginning. Uh, it should expand to the universal consciousness, merge with it. That is the destination. And uh, where we are starting, what is the starting point? The, it is like a journey that from uh, the mundane life to the spiritual life. The mundane life is, mm, I am this body, this mind, uh, and I am separate from others. So now this has to be changed to the uh, universal oneness, the awareness of universal oneness. So uh, that is the destination. So the uh, one who is uh, considering that I am such and such, but I want that awareness is now on the journey. 
uh, this is the there is the starting point and there is the ending point so you have to uh, give that to get directions where do you start from and where you are going to end your journey so then the directions will emerge so uh, what are these uh, 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 directions that it is said first you should have uh, the proper driver and the charioteer must be uh, very knowledgeable about the roads uh, and the vehicle how to drive uh, all that the charioteer must be uh, uh, aware must be an expert charioteer so it is uh, given there that that verse is so beautiful i am not able to control uh, the uh, desire to quote actually uh, that it is uh, the atmanam rathinam vidhi shariram rathamevatu buddhim tu sarathim vidhi mana pragrahamevachu indriyani hayanahu विषयान स्तेशु गोचरान आत्मेंद्रिय मनोयुक्तम भोक्ते त्याहुर मनीषिना दिस इज़ द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ़ द चैरियट इन विच वन इज़ ट्रैवलिंग दैट इट इज़ दिस सेल्फ आई मीन द लिमिटेड सेल्फ is the traveler ratinam and then it is the buddhim tu sarathim vidhi this uh, our intellect the thought for the faculty of thinking is the uh, charioteer and the chariot is this body and uh, what is the feeling aspect that they are the reins and all our sensory and motor organs they are like the horses uh, this is the chariot the horses the reins and the charioteer now when will the journey be successful mm. it says that well if your charioteer is not expert Uh, then uh, you cannot expect the journey to be uh, properly completed to the destination that it is uh, that vijnana it is the intellectual faculty thought faculty is called here vijnana that uh, yastu avijnana van bhavati ayukte na manasa sada तस्ेन्द्रियाणि अवश्यानि दुष्टाश्वा इव सारथे दि वन हु इज नॉट स्किल्ड इनफ टू हैंडल दोज हॉर्सेस थ्रू द रेंज नाउ दैट पर्सन देयर फोर is uh, the the organs the body they become therefore uncontrolled horses dushtashwa eva sarathe they are now uncontrolled the behavior uh, becomes impulsive compulsive behavior mm, it is the thought is not in control of it and then otherwise mm, that if it is yastu vijnana van bhavati ah yukte na manasa sada tasya indriyani vashyani sadashwa eva sarathe when uh, one thus is in control of the reins that charioteer is in control of the feelings and through that uh, Uh, controls the horses properly now the horses will behave now the body will behave 
it is if we have already spoiled the horses they need to be brought under controlled under your conscious control they need to be given uh, whipping from time to time to bring them under control uh, it is necessary uh, that is why it is called sometimes in the uh, that uh, annals of the horse training uh, to break a horse uh, break a horse means the horse naturally is wild and uh, so that wild habits have to be broken mm, and then you cannot break the horse that those uh, uh, wildness by touching its chin oh my dear horse uh, that is too much to expect you know from a poor horse so you need to speak to the horse in the language that the horse will understand uh, and our body is like that uh, it uh, needs a corporeal treatment uh, to sometimes to make it learn it is to make it learn uh, it is because it will leave then a mark that yes if i do like this uh, they uh, at that level the body doesn't feel that oh then i will get scolded it, it doesn't care for being scolded but uh, i will be made to do uh, 20 push ups then oh oh that is a matter of you know so let me uh, gradually the things come to a level of mind where and uh, then the mental suggestions will work but uh, not uh, initially so it is the one has to begin where one is so uh, in the next three verses this upanishad says that thus uh, you become pure when you are uh, in the control of your body uh, they then you are pure uh, if not you are impure that is the meaning of a pure life and impure life if uh, the your body follows the uh, this intellect or the thought that is taking you to the destination means the discernment uh, sri ramakrishna used to say, say that when one this question is asked to him many times and he has given depending on who is asking the question somewhat different answers can householders realize god can householders realize god and shri ramakrishna never said no he rather very emphatically said yes but you have to do take some measures you have to do something take measures one the one of that thing is uh, practice discernment that what is right and what is not right practice it it is matter of practice so as one practices one gets adept in it that yes now the life is guided by discernment not by whims impulses instincts and compulsions uh it becomes thus uh, a very helpful instrument uh, for getting to the destination and the last verse of this whole metaphor therefore says that vijnana sarthiryasya manah pragrahavan narah sodvana paramapnoti तद विष्णो परम पदम दस व्हेन अ पर्सन हैज गॉट सच अ नाइस चैरियट विद प्रॉपर चैरियोटियर ऑफ डिसर्निंग इंटेलेक्ट एंड द द फीलिंग्स एंड द दैट इज द रेंज द रेंज एंड through the reins the horses everything is well controlled then uh, the person will reach the destination without a problem uh, that is a given 
uh, it is in some rare accidental case it may happen like I had told you the story of a young man uh, who uh, was uh, returning from his vacation at home to the school that he was studying it and uh, in those long ago you know this is story of some 70 years ago so uh, he was at the train station the parents had come to say him bye and uh, they they told the young man uh, well as soon as you get uh, to get there please uh, uh, send us a postcard that used to be the way uh, of communication then please send us a postcard and this young man says well uh, uh, right in front of you I am sitting in the proper train isn't it if I am taking the proper train I am going to reach the proper destination and if, if even after taking the right train if I don't reach the destination, it gets printed in newspapers. <laughs> so <laughs> it is. Uh, so it is given that if you are, have the right instrument, you will reach. So this is the integration of personality that uh, Swami Yatishwaranandji speaks about here. That uh, you thus uh, uh, put your uh, thought. Uh, the mind means emotions and feelings they are two different things but I am clubbing them here uh, and the your uh, these uh, organs they when they are in proper order well connected then the spiritual journey takes place correctly it is uh, thus when the individual is organized uh, the next step is that that individual now merges with the universal. When you see that you are light, the whole universe becomes the same light. So, uh, this is how we reach the destination. So, uh, friends, although this sounds to be a very, very simple topic, uh, as if we know about it, let us learn to practice it. That, let me think, and then, what Charlie? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that is the last point that I was going to come uh, to. Many times we think, but the action gets inhibited. That also should not happen. Sometimes the action takes over before the thought, but at other times this is again as a, a, a pathology. Uh, the therapists tell uh, about it. But uh, uh, in our normal life also uh, we encounter this problem that we take a decision thoughtfully but don't implement uh, the execution is not happening uh, so the uh, why that should also not ha be there uh, when the action should not happen before thought but after thought it should not get frozen there, it should act. So let us, you know, arrange our personality in this manner and thus uh, we will realize the goal of life. Although this is very simple uh, theme, I am very grateful to Swami Atmagnyananandji for bringing this up in his, uh, during his retreat and he then also helped me by sending the exact quote. Uh, so, uh, now we will think about it for a few seconds and then after that if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Yes, please. Any question? There is no question. Oh, Abhishek has a question. Maharaj, sometimes I, uh, what I found out was that thinking a lot before acting led to all kinds of contradictions in what the action should be. So then, 
gradually that then I adapted myself that I should should really not think that much for act acting um, so you act and then if you make an error then you uh, feed it back and adjust the action for the next time but thinking a lot might really lead to a lot yes, of contradictions uh, yeah, yeah, I fully agree with you and uh, uh, that again is a compulsive behavior to keep just thinking uh, not acting so that also should not happen think to act if there is uh, a problem then correct it mm, it is uh, the mistakes should not be you know uh, taken to be uh, a big problem one should not be scared of making mistakes it is we should avoid mistakes but that doesn't mean the fear of mistakes should make us inactive uh, as I was telling the given the example of child uh, tries to walk I have not seen a single little child uh, learning to walk without ever falling down uh, it is a process by which the brain gets the signals as to how the feet should be kept uh, the sensors get uh, all uh, tuned to the uh, process of walking thus it is necessary for the child to fall a few times uh, so that the walking can happen so the m making mistakes actually gives a feedback to our thought process that how they what mistake you made while thinking mm, if we do not act at all our thought process also will not get a test to see whether it was right or not so it is the thought process should be tested by putting it into action and one should always be ready to learn okay uh, that was not right decision so let me now uh, make a proper adjustment or change to it yeah I agree with you there that only thinking for uh, unnecessarily long time and doing no action uh, that is very detrimental in fact it is better to be impulsive and act rather than uh, only keep on thinking and doing nothing any questions up there Maharaj, there is a comment uh. Uh, from Fred Richardson I remember reading somewhere that during meditation we should think every breath is manifestation of Om yes that is a way to control the breathing yeah that is good yeah so let us uh, uh, have the our uh, closing prayer before that let me tell the upcoming programs uh, next Sunday it is very close to uh, Shankaracharya's birthday Friday is the birthday of Shankaracharya so on uh, uh, next Sunday we will be discussing six stanzas on Nirvana by Shankara and Nirvana Shatkam a very famous well-known hymn uh, Tuesday Friday classes will go on as usual uh, at 7 30 p.m. Tuesdays the topic is Sri Ramakrishna and his divine play Fridays it is stories from Srimad Bhagavatam and there is a retreat coming up on June 18 Saturday June 18 uh, it will be uh, the topic is looking deeply so and the retreat will be given by uh, Swami Tyagananda uh, the well-known uh, teacher and speaker and good writer uh, uh, he is the head of our Vedanta Society in Boston so but you have to register for the retreat so please register as fast as you can there will be arati and after that there will be soup supper you are invited for both may the divine who is father in heaven of the christians holy one of the jewish faith allah of the muslims buddha of the buddhists 
Dao of the Daoist, great spirit of the Native Americans, Ahuru Mazda of the Zoroastrians and Brahman of the Hindus, lead us from the unreal to the real, from darkness to light, from death to immortality. May the all-loving being manifest himself unto us and grant us abiding understanding and all-consuming divine love. Peace, peace, peace be unto all. Fearless 
and you are free from doubting with your mind very firmly resolved godless refuse of your devoted godless refuse of your devoted renouncing cast and burn our treasure is your holy feet which take us very soon across this puddle of life you give life and even sightedness sightedness to remove our anguish here our treasure is your holy feet which take us very soon across this puddle of life you give love and even sightedness you give love and even sightedness to remove our anguish here greetings to you o lord beyond both speech and mind greetings to you o lord beyond both speech and mind yet you are the basis of both O oh Lord yet you are the basis of both great light of all lights blazing in the hearts ke great light of all lights blazing in the hearts ke darkness is destroyed by your light O oh Lord darkness is destroyed by your light greetings to you O oh Lord beyond both speech and mind greetings to you O oh Lord beyond both speech and mind yet you are the basis of both O oh Lord yet you are the basis of both Great light of all lights blazing in the hearts ke great light of all lights blazing in the hearts ke darkness is destroyed by your light o oh lord darkness is destroyed by your light dhad dhalang rang bhang these are all the sounds of mridang dhad dhalang rang bhang these are all the sounds of mridang spiritual song devotees are singing for your worship divine spiritual songs devotees are singing for your worship divine jay jay for your worship divine har har for your worship divine shiva shiva for your worship divine breaker of all our worldly bondage and adored by all we adore you to jai shri guru maharaj ji ki
graciousness of all noble ends you gave to us granting us refuge all seeing glory o mother divine our love to you creation preservation dissolution are your powers eternal one nature's real basis nature's essence o mother divine our love to you we come seeking refuge from anguish be our savior through your deep concern all our suffering remove god is o mother divine our love to Victory, O Mother Divine, our love to you. Blessed Mother Divine, our love to you. Blessed Mother Divine, our love to you blessed mother divine our love to you shri राम कृष्ण देव की जय जय श्री शारदा देवी की जय जय श्री स्वामी विवेकानंद की जय जय श्री बुद्ध देव की जय जय श्री जीसस क्राइस्ट की जय 